Hi folks, this time we're going to be making the valve motion. This photo just shows what we're aiming for. The rocking bar, two rocking bearings, some levers, the valve crosshead bar, push rods, and a selection of nuts and bolts. The first issue I ran into was that the holes in the rocking bearings haven't been drilled quite true. I've exaggerated the problem to sh so it shows more clearly on the video. It's not quite this bad in the flesh, but it was just enough so that the rocking bar was jamming when the bearings were tightened down. I used two methods to correct this problem. Firstly, I filed away a little bit on the high side on the base of the bearing. I didn't want to take too much off because that would throw the bearings off a vertical. I also went through the hole with a drill that was 0.1 of a millimetre oversized. This was just enough to allow the bar to rotate freely with the bearings tightened down. Now I'm not too worried about this hole being slightly oversized. This bearing isn't highly loaded and it only rocks to and fro. It doesn't rotate as such. Okay, now I've put the two levers on the rocking bar. These are tightened with set screws. Now these two levers have to go parallel so the second one was simply tightened up with them both held flat on the work surface. This assembly fits on the base next to the valve chest. I'll just fit this loosely with two bolts for the moment. The valve crosshead bar goes through the valve crosshead. The first push rod goes onto the valve crosshead bar and that's secured by a 5BA nut. Then the push rod swings down and locates in the fork in the lever. The push rod is secure to the lever with a 5BA bolt, but this actually has to go in from the inside, otherwise it will foul on the valve chest. The only way I could get these bolts in was to remove the rocker shaft and bearings, insert the bolts from the inside. You can see I've put the other arm on now. These are also secured with 5BA nuts. Now I can refit the rocker bearings. The top nuts are tightened up nice and tight, but the bottom nuts can't be over tightened because that will start to squeeze the fork. That would make the lever bind. And now it moves nice and smoothly, exactly what we want. Finally, we fit the last lever. Again, this is secured with the set screw. For now I'll set this at 90 degrees to the other lever. We can always adjust it later when we set up the engine. Now we have a nice working valve motion. I must say I'm quite happy with this. It looks very nice. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy it please consider subscribing and giving me a thumbs up and I read all the comments. Thank you, see you next time.